Hey kids, Invertical here. Welcome back to Project Ozone. Yeah, I know it's been over a week since I managed to get on here and record anything, and well, believe it or not, it's actually been over a week since I've actually had an opportunity to play. In fact, I don't think we've actually progressed more than a couple of days uh, in game time, except for the fact that I was here grinding for a while, just letting this run. So, <clears throat> As I showed you last episode, I haven't really changed anything down here. Uh, basically, all the machines are ticking and grinding and bumping and doing their thing, so... We're not going to do anything with that. I promised you... <clears throat> that I would go back to trying to make that in that I had started before. Now, I've basically taken it right back up to where I was before. Um, I built a wood wood log foundation. This is based on a design by Lord Dakar. Um, I'll try to remember to put the link in the thing. I have made a few alterations. Uh, I put interior timbers in because uh, it just shows how to build the shell, not the interior. I put interior timbers in. I will be putting stone columns supporting these timbers um, straight through to the roof. Um, let's see if I can stack of dirt. There we go. Let's see if I can show you this here. There we go. Uh, from the top floor layer here, uh, as you can see, I've got floor beams. This dirt is just a space holder for where the floor is going to go in. And I've put beams across the, the roof to make it look like you would have um, an actual timber and post cabin. These are supposed to be beams that are carried. I'm not sure if I'm going to carry these through or not. Um, so I was thinking carry these through and then this room has a room and then it steps up here to an open concept ceiling in the middle giving it kind of an attic space. Um, sort of what I'm thinking. Now, um, I don't remember what it was that I used for the interior walls, although I do know that I did a lot of chisel work. As you can see, once again, I'm not prepared. There it is. Uh, I'm not prepared for everything. All right, let's have a look. I'm pretty sure I went with limestone. <clears throat> I think I went with French limestone or small limestone, but I think this time I'm going to go with standard um, small bricks. Oops, that's my dinner. Put that up off the ground. Now again, you can use either kind of limestone for this. Uh, the chisel doesn't seem to identify a difference between the two of them. See, it's the same patterns. Um, so I have ample amounts of this and this limestone, so they're they're both the same. <clears throat> so I'm going to start with. Putting in the uh, bricks, which I believe go like that. Oops. 
All right, and then each window gets made square. And I'm going to leave the center ones as doors. There's a lot of additional decorative to go on. Um, the stairs have to be made and put in with the appropriate things. Um, that sort of thing. For the most part, it's just me going up and down, putting limestone in. Now these, this floor I think is the same way. Oops. Oh, you crafty bugger, you. To double check the video on this one, but I believe that is how they go. I'm sure this has a frame on them. These are just windows, there's no balconies here. Out. 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 No, the top floor gets the balcony. That's right. did a few alterations I, on the logs here they look like they're going sideways except for these beams here you can see I put down on the side these go straight across now this is um, where the ceiling goes um, pretty certain that I need to fill this void in as well um, but I'm going to jump down and then, oops, let's go this way, grab my roofing uh, pieces. Okay, and we'll jump back up there. Scaffold for that. 
<clears throat> we'll make these ones. If you hold shift and rotate your mouse wheel, you can change the slopes so that you can make the peaks. And those ones. As I said before, I'm a big fan of the carpenter slopes because of the way they connect to each other so nicely. Except for that one. course the big problem is is I have to put some kind of a temporary brace in here um, I guess it doesn't really matter if I go on this one or that one so I'm going to throw those in with the dirt Oops, not supposed to change. I'm pretty sure that mod that changes my inventory like that, that's inventory tweaks. Sometimes it's very, very annoying. <laughs> This kind of thing is one of the places where having a magnet is handy. And if you're wondering how to place a dirt block on them without sticking it in, you hold shift. <laughs> shift is your friend. I'm pretty certain that this
does this with stairs. Like that, like that. There's this weird roof detail here. And then this one sticks out. I can't remember if these poke out by one or not on this thing. I don't have the video open. I'm not running the video in the background, so I'm trying to build this by more by memory than by anything. Could be wrong on the placement of these as well. These might be coming out, getting relocated. There we have it. There's the roof through the one side. Um, ignore that hole. <clears throat> There's the roof layout for one side uh, of the inn. Um, I am going to double check to make sure I've got the layout for those uh, top floor openings uh, correct. And then um, I'm going to do some and decorative on the interior um, but between now and next episode I'm going to fix up this roof uh, or finish that roof off and I'm going to finish off the uh, the window openings and the doors and get those all ready to go and <clears throat> and I think that's going to do it for this time um, thanks all for watching kids and I will see you all on the next episode. Here's the old Minecraft wave and, you know, the, the thing with the thing and thing. <laughs> all right. There you go, kids. And I'll talk to you next time. Good night for now.